Right, so this is going to be another prestige solo this time on a different subclass as one or two have mentioned to me about gunslinger saying oh well you know arc stride is an amazing subclass to do this on and how quick you can do a run with arc strider what's gunslinger like or how do you approach this section with gunslinger etc so i thought i would do a gunslinger run this is what I'm going to be using and why, first of all. First, firstly, you have two choices between these two nades. You can get away with Swarm Grenade, I imagine, and it'd be fine to do it. However, we're going for as much damage as we can on Mages and the boss. Swarm Grenades are good on adds, but they're not good for boss damage. Trip Mines, uh, not good on adds they can be sometimes if you angle them right but generally like they're not the best on adds but they have high single target damage and that's what we want so i opted for trip mine you could go with swarm nade and it is an easier nade to use because it takes the enemies whereas that doesn't of course marksman's dodge for automatic reloads always use this we never really want that it's in pvp something triple jump as our jump and bottom class reason for bottom tree is because of that crowd pleaser we need um precision damage with our golden gun for it to do more damage so that's a no-brainer that one though obviously we'll be pairing it with celestial night orc as always uh for the high damage shot turns it into one high damage shot which we need as for armor, it's not really important, but most of it's master worked, not all of it. Still working on the set. As for weapons, uh, I opted for double hand cannon, so devils and sunshot. Sunshot, because obviously we're going to be going soul, it's a solar singe nightfall, so I thought why not sunshot, we're being aggressive, we're trying to go through it pretty quick. Sunshot's a good choice, we don't want to be sitting back with a scout rifle, we don't need to. As for our power weapon choice, I went with Curtain Call. I did try out a couple of different uh, solar weapons, a couple of different solar snipers, to see if I could pair that up with the super to try and get out a lot of damage. I had a bit of success with Alone as a God, but it's not, it's not as reliable as a rocket launcher. Uh, you know, it takes you that long to get it all the ammo out. If you only have a six, seven, eight second window to do a high burst of damage, a rocket launcher you can empty all your rockets out within that time. Especially with a rally barricade on a Titan, say for example. So yes, I know snipers have been buffed, but technically a rocket launcher is still higher DPS because you can unleash six rockets in freaking no time at all then you can be switching to your special to do damage then you can be doing a super then you can be doing a grenade the rockets will still always be king for dps i think um just because of how quick you're getting everything out so fast but that's i just thought i would say that the rockets are still my favorite heavy but i do like other heavies like sleeper simulant darcy Darcy, fair enough, you can get your shots out really quick, it's a high rate of fire sniper, but likes to sleep a simulant, per shot, it's fantastic, yes, per shot, but likes of what we're doing now, we have like an 8 second window to do as much damage as we can, oh right, has a really slow charge rate, you do one shot, do another shot, reload, and do another, you can do like 3 sleeper shots in 6 seconds, that's not really quick. Whereas you can do six rockets. Six rockets will always be more damage than two or three sleeper shots. Easily. So that's why we're using a rocket launcher. To pair up nicely with the gunslinger. And for the card, it's going to be Solar Singe Heavyweight. Um, for that. Okay. To require precise conditions for their rituals.
So like with every other run, we spawn sparrows straight away. I think I have an exotic ghost that makes all my sparrows we quick quick summon, which is quite nice actually. So luckily, all this area was open up for me. Um, which is real good. You can just sparrow through everything and through these portals. I really enjoyed the hunter run. It is a good. It, the gunslinger is a good class for this. When it was the old prestige nightfalls, the timed ones, not these ones, the old timed ones. On this particular nightfall, gunslinger was my favorite class because it was just so good on the boss. You never had to worry about DBS just because of less real and what what you could do. So it is a really good class to do it on. Arc Strider is as well. Like the sparrow down this section and then just clear it out. The first wave with sunshot and then push up. I like to shoot that box because that box is class of solar if it explodes. So if you're in its vicinity then you'll you you almost certainly die. So if I stand behind this little rock here, I can kind of... They, they group up nice, so I can kill them all with Sunshot. I like to take out the Hydras when I can as well. And that's the room pretty much clear now. I need to finish off the remaining goblins. Sunshot is amazing for this room. Just for cleaning it out. I think that's the fastest I've done that room. That's because of Sunshot. After all that, you should be approaching to or have a super, uh, which we're going to need for the next section. Weed full heavy. Make sure you got full heavy because you're going to need some backup, ro backup rockets. Look at those drills. Because this, Even the Vex can't this stop doesn't always play out. The same every time. Survival is a temporary condition for all of us. Obviously, we can skip all this as per usual. Nothing different than usual. Barrel through to the um, majors. There's one major inside, and there's one outside. You could do the reverse of what I've done. I'm using a super for the second major, the one outside, and rockets for the one inside. You could do it the other way around. But I feel as though the second major is harder to kill, so I save a super for him. If you come to this little window, you can bait this major into your rockets. Whereas the one outside, he's going to dodge your rockets more than likely. That's why I chose to do it that way. I like to come over here. The only problem is I popped my golden gun too early. And I was with a cabal ball kind of... Sorry my way when I was trying to do my shot. But a golden gun and one sun shot, shot will kill the major. And you can skip all these. As long as you keep your momentum and just run past them like that, you are both depressing they'll be too fixated on each other to notice you. Now, in this room, I need to be, I need to try and make as many orbs as I can because we've just used our super, of course. We need another one for the boss. So I like to kill that Minotaur with a rocket because he'll chase you forever, and I need to be making orbs. So it's good. Good to kill the Minotaur to get him out the way. It means you can safely kill all these goblins and make mobs. Obviously, you need Masterworks for that. I would use Sunshot, but it's not, it's not a Masterwork, so I don't even know if it's out. But it, yeah. Be sure as well to try and pick up all rockets. I missed a brick, so I have five. There's a brick on the floor which I missed. 
go over there somewhere. I think it's lined up. Right? It's not the worst thing in the world because you will have another opportunity to get one or two more bricks depending on your drop rates because heavyweight uh, the modifier heavyweight means that you can get heavy bricks off red bars as well but well, there is one guaranteed one guaranteed harpy major at the boss so you will get one brick at least that section is sometimes um, harder than that. Sometimes the solar hobgoblins will get you in. Soul Singes on. They can easily destroy your sparrow while you're on it. So sometimes when you come through to this zone too quick, the harpies won't wake up. Which is kind of annoying, but kind of out of our control. The hat, this major finally wakes up once to take his shield arms. So they do eventually do wake up. So we're gonna obviously be doing high damage here. So first of all, preset a trip mine. One rocket marksman's dodge, another, and then immediately pop your server. That'll leave him just below half. Now I obviously have four rockets left. You can only ever get four rockets out reliably on this floor anyway. You can never get any more than that. Unless you're lucky with his immunity phase. So do two rockets immediately, then do a ground slam every time. He does that every time. As soon as he gets back up, do another two rockets. Now generally that should have killed him. He had a little bit of health left. The reason why I didn't kill him there is because of the cluster bombs. The cluster bombs didn't didn't land as they sh usually do for me. So I was unlucky that he didn't die on that plate there. Generally he does. Luckily I got another rocket just to finish him off on this plate. Yeah, that could have been quicker in the respect of killing him on the second floor but it's out of my control with the cluster bombs like I said but other than that that's a that's a way on how to do it on gunslinger so you don't have to do it on axe rider even though axe rider is really good but so is gunslinger as well um really good anyways that was the hunter run thank you